Welcome you absolute legends, I am Former Fraser, I am Pete, I am back and today we're going over 15 fragrances that are so versatile but they're budget friendly. So these typically are under £35-40, pounds. if you're over that be a bit wary because you shouldn't really be paying more than that for these fragrances but they're very versatile and to be honest with you if you're trying to get into fragrances and you're trying to learn new things these will do you absolutely proud. So we've got a lot to crack on with. I've got 200 mentions straight off the bat. So let's start off with this absolute classic. Now you can still buy this, however it's been discontinued. You, like I say, you can still pick it up really easily. It's from the House of Hugo Boss. It's Boss Bossel, the original from 1998. Oh, that's just a classic fragrance. It's got apple, cinnamon, vanilla, and a bit of Vespa, but it's a classic fragrance. And like I say, it's been discontinued, but you can still pick it up for under £30, £35. If you can find this, I promise you, you will not be disappointed with this one. You can wear it anytime, any place, anywhere. It's so versatile. God knows what the hell Hugo Boss was thinking. Do you know what? Do you know what? One of our best sellers. Let's just axe it because that makes so much sense. Idiots. But no, Hugo Boss number six, it's called Find It, Pick It Up, You'll Thank Me Later. The next one is a little bit of obscurity, but again, you can still find this if you have to have a little bit of luck. The House of Calvin Klein, it's Obsession Night. Now, you're probably saying, Pete, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. It says night on it. You can't wear it at night. You can't wear it at night. Well, I tend to disagree with Oh, but it's so nice. Cardamom, pear, vanilla, and some vetiver again in this. It's a clean fragrance, and it's one of those fragrances I would say. You can wear it all year round. You don't have to worry about what's happening. You've got this. It's an older fragrance, but I think it's been discontinued. That's the only problem. If you find it somewhere like eBay, they're still going for about 20, 25 quid. If you want to get yourself a cheap fragrance that's going to work really well, Obsession Night by Calvin Klein is just so underrated. It's unreal. It's kind of blasphemous that it's so underrated. But yeah, cracking fragrance. I have two honorable mentions. And I'm going to crack straight onto the top 15 because, quite frankly, I've got a lot to do. So this is another old fragrance. And, again, I've talked about this a couple of times before, but this one really hits the money. Especially in fall and winter, but even brilliant in spring and summer. It's Lacoste Booster. Now, this was done in the late 90s. And the bottle, I will be honest with you, is absolute garbage. But, oh, it just smells amazing. Grapefruit, vetiver, nutmeg and cedar are some of the notes in this. And again, you're going to get a quality fragrance, which does perform pretty well for the price. You can get this under 30 quid and everyone will go, Pete, it's the cost. Yeah, I know it's the cost, but the cost actually do do some good fragrances. And this is a, one of the most underrated gems they have. Oh, it's just classy. It's elegant. It's one of those fragrances you're going to put it on. And everyone will probably think you're spending about 80, 90, 100 quid. And it's only 30 quid. The cost booster, massively underrated. My number 15. My number 14. I'm going a bit mad here. But this one, again, is a simple fragrance. But it's from the House of Zara. It's Ginger Lovers. Now, there is a slight technical problem with it. Sometimes you find them with discounts. Sometimes you can't. It's a hit and miss. When you do find it... All of the central blends are fantastic. They're very simple, but they work freaking amazingly. So this has got ginger, lime, and vetiver. Oh, but honestly, it's just a classy fragrance. And I honestly, honest God, they're so easy to wear. You can't go wrong with them. And like I say, because it's got that ginger in it, it'll work well in the fall and winter. Again, with the lime, it'll work in the summer. So it's got everything you need, and with that vetiver makes it really classy. Great fragrance. Number 14, Ginger Lovers by Azaro. Number 13, we've got an old school classic fragrance yet again. It's been out for millenniums. I think I think it was 2006 when it came out. God, it's been out so long. And it's a cheap fragrance. It's under 15 quid. Nautica Voyage. I cannot stress how great this fragrance is for the price point. It's Apple, amber, cinnamon, uh, sorry, apple, amber, cedar, and some musk in it, but oh, the, it's just ozonic, it's fresh, it's not like a shower gel fragrance, 
it's more like an oceanic fragrance, and if that makes sense, it's more a bit more pungent. It's got some oak moss as well, which gives it that oomph, and it gives a damn good performance. For the price point, for what you're trying to get, for working all year round, especially in fall and winter, this thing is a hidden little gem. Amazing good fragrance. So that's my number 13, Nautica Voyage. Number 12, right? We're going for a big hitter now because this will get a compliment factor as well going with this. I have never not worn this and not got a compliment of it. It's from House of Versace. It's Dell and Blue and I cannot deny this fragrance is bloody awesome. Again, it's all the way on the back. I mean, why would they do it? Atomizer is amazing. Fig leaf, juniper, fig leaf, grape leaf, grapefruit. And some ambroxin, which will give this thing an absolute push. I mean, a massive push. It's like the cheaper version of Sauvage, but better. And, I mean, the Sauvage EDT gives me a headache. This does not. This is fantastic. Price point is £35, so it's bang on thing. But I guarantee you it's well worth every bit. I'm about halfway through my bottle on this, so I mean, I'm going to have to think about getting another one soon. But this... Always works well, never disappoints you. Number 12, Versace Dylan Blue. Right, number 11. Now, this one's a bit of a mm, hit and miss one because some people like it, some people don't. But it's from the house of Yop. It's hot, Yop on Absolute. Now, it's a bit of an unusual one. It's got Ylang Ylang, which again, straight away, is a bit unusual. Black pepper, incense, and some tonka. And again, this one is because it's got that sweetness from the Tonka and the Ylang Ylang, it can work in summer. Just sometimes it can go a bit cloying, so just dial it back a tiny bit. Again, underrated, still under 30 quid, easily can be found at most discounters. It's one of these phrases, now when it gets to winter, it just goes nuts. I love this phrase, I love Yop as a house, as a brand, what they do, their performance is a Pretty much beastly all the time for the price point what you're getting. Another one, Yop on Absolute, my number 11. Right, number 10. Now, this one is a sexy little number, I will kid you not. This one is from the House of the Leak and it's Pour on EDT. Now, the EDP one is the lion head one, this is on the horse head one. Oh. Rosemary, lavender, and iris is some of the main notes, but it's a fresh. Classy, simple fragrance. I kid you not, for under 30 quid, I do not know how La Ligue makes amazing fragrances for the price point. It's just, it blows my mind. I mean, Encre Noir, all those ones are amazing, but this one is a bit of a hidden gem. Works really well, performs decently for a price point as well, for especially for a classy fragrance like it is. Number 10, La Ligue Pour Homme EDT. Number nine. Now, I love this fragrance. I have a massive issue with the performance. So, there is a video I put up how to perform, improve your performance of your fragrances. Um, but this one is from Banana Republic. It's black walnut and the bottle is beautiful. The top, I don't Can you see all that detailing in the top? It's beautiful. But, and like I say, the Oh, cognac, cedar, and tobacco. I mean, it's a very simple fragrance, but bloody hell, it works. The only thing I say is it lasts about three to four hours. So you just make sure you've got some extra just to keep making yourself. Spot. But even in the summer, it doesn't go like really aggressive. It just it's just like a nice sillage that comes out, and it's really sexy fragrance. For what they put in it, and I know it's not a lot, but they've made a bloody good fragrance. So that's black walnut. By Banana Republic, my number nine. Number eight. Now, this one, I have to say, Joy Min has got me on this one, and I didn't know much about it, and I didn't really know much about the whole brand, to be honest, but he's got me on this. It's from House of Jacques Ward. It's Silver Scent Pure, and I have to say, he was on the money with this one. It's a beast of a fragrance. Mint, nutmeg, tongue. Uh, cardamom and patchouli are some of the notes, but this one performs ridiculously well. It gives me 10 plus hours for a fresh, slightly spicy fragrance, which 
if you ask anyone, they'll say, well, you're wearing something like a Dior or something. And you're not. You're only paying less than 20 quid for this. So if you can find it, now that's the only problem is, sometimes at discounts, they just run out of this. But if you can find it somewhere, eBay, eBay you can find it. Silver Scent Pure by Jacques Bogart. A phenomenal fragrance. So thank you, Joy. Appreciate finding this one. Number eight. It's amazing. Right, we're going back to the old school, back to the 90s. And this one, I think it was released in 96 or 97. From the house, again, from Zara. Again, Zara doing cracking fragrance. It's the original Chrome. Oh. Pineapple, oat moss, cedar, and... And some sandalwood. I was in this, and this is a little anim uh, metallic, but... It's still fresh, it's still quite uplifting, and actually in the winter, this thing performs ridiculously well. It's a really cheap fragrance. I think you're getting it under 25 quid for a 100ml bottle. And the bottle's phenomenal. I like the how it's built. All the chrome line is really good. Um, there's a few that are better than others, like Extreme and Aqua, but I haven't got them, but I've smelt them. But this one, for me, still a classic, still works to this day. Your, your versatility is off the chart. It'll work for every situation. Zara Chrome, my number seven. Now, again, we're going even further back into the old school because this is a real classic one. From Hosca Del Rente, it's Poor Louis. Now, this one, I always have a problem with this, but it's a classy bottle. But this was made in the 1980s, and the 80s fragrances are powerhouses. So this one is probably a bit more for the older gentleman. It's got carnation, which again is more 80s than anything else you've ever had. But it's got some lavender, some leather. That's that. And it's just some juniper, which gives it a nice freshness and a pop of like a je ne sais quoi. But it's a very good fragrance. Performance wise, it's good. And again, if you want to smell like a bit more of like a gentleman, like the old school style, for under 20 quid, Oscar de la Rente, Paul Louis definitely will not do you will do you very proud. Right, I believe we're in top five. How have we got to top five already? That's ridiculous. Next one. I've talked about this fragrance before, and I think for me, Dunhill gets an absolute load of stick because they go, well, oh, your fragrance just got icon and maybe icon racing and I've tried a few of us, and this one really hits the money for me. It's Dunhill, London. Oh, red apple, sandalwood, and some red apple in this. Really fresh, really invigorating. Actually, it works even better in the winter, which I was surprised at. I've tried it a couple of times during this past winter, and trust me, it goes nuts. It really does. Summertime, again, it'll be really fresh, really invigorating. Most of these are quite fresh, simple fragrances, but this one is especially nice. But no one loves Dunhill. Don't know why, but this one is amazing. Really classy fragrance. So Dunhill London, my number five. Number four. This one, again, if I remember correctly, is released in the 90s, and it's about 15 quid. And I kid you not, when I tried this, I was blown away how good this was. It's from the House of Diesel. It's plus plus masculine. And this one. Oh, it's just lovely. It's got some spices with clove. It's got some uh, tonka. And some orange in this as well. It's really kind of a hybrid between spices and fruits. And it really works well. It's very masculine, like it says in the bottle. For 15 quid, this is so versatile, and everyone will think you're spending more money than you actually are. Highly, highly, highly underrated gem. Diesel, plus plus masculine, please. If you are trying to find a cheap fragrance that you want to smell masculine, this is it. I kid you not, it's an amazing fragrance. Highly underrated, so that's diesel, plus plus masculine. My number four. Number, I'm thinking three. 
This is again a house that I keep banging on about because I'm sad and I'm boring, but again, I can't deny it. It's from the House of Davidoff, it's Cool Water Wave. And yeah, it's amazing. Grapefruit Sichuan pepper, which gives it that brisk opening, which gives it a nice pop in your face. Followed in by some sandalwood and some juniper, which gives it a nice, like, backbone, I would say, of the fragrance. But it performs bloody well. Cool water and quite a lot of the flankers are brilliant. This 100ml bottle is £17. I kid you not. And I've already had a good dent in it, but it works every time. You can wear it up. You can dress it up, dress it down. You can pretty much do what you like with it. You want to go out in it? Yeah, it will still do your job really, really nice. It's a bit more skin tight when you're going out for the clubbing. But again, for versatility, for the price you're paying for it, this one is insane. That's Davidoff Cool Water Wave. Number three. Like last two and these two, you're in for a treat. All I'm going to say is that. So number two, and I've talked about this frames before. It's from the house of Alphenom. It's rare carbon. And oh my God. This thing. Oh, I'm just going to bask in that for just a second because it's beautiful. Leather, violet. Amber and some rose are some of the notes. Now the rose isn't like really obvious. It's more of a leather based fragrance. But again, for the price point, this is under 30 quid. You are never going to get a better fragrance. It smells very similar to Tuscan leather in the world ever. Because this is just magic. Now Tuscan leather is more refined. It's better quality. And you, sh you kind of expect it. But this, I would say about 85% of the way there. I, you couldn't really tell, if, if an untrained nose smell it, they'll think you're smelling a really luxurious fragrance and you're paying under 30 quid for Afnam Red Carbon, steel, absolute steel of century. And that's my number two, which brings me to number one. Now, I have heard that it could be discontinued, but as of right now, you can still pick this up. And it's from the house of Bentley, because Bentley do some Phenomenal phrase, and before anyone says it's been for me, and this is too much. No, I didn't go with that one. It's absolute. Now, there's two versions of this there's the black version, and there's gold version. They're both exactly the same. So, don't think, oh, well, one's different to the other. They're, they're both the same. The only problem is it looks like a like a ridiculously small head for it, but hey. Oh. Pink pepper, papyrus, cedar, and some sandalwood, which gives it that woodsy effect. And again, it does smell very similar to discontinued Gucci Pour On One. It really does. I've got both, and I can tell you, it's it's about ninety percent there. But again, Gucci, a little bit more refined. But then, if you want to pony up for about one hundred and fifty quid for a fifty ml bottle of Gucci Pour On One, be my guest, or you can find this. And a very similar fragrance for the similar, for like a quarter of the price, a sixth of the price. This is about going about 30 quid. Fantastic. Please pick this up before it goes. It's highly underrated. Works every single time, works every single place. Phenomenal fragrance from Bentley. So it's Bentley for Men, absolute. Right. So that's my 15 fragrances for basically whatever you need it for. They are so cheap, they're all under 35 quid, and I hopefully you guys pick these some one or two of these up, especially that the diesel one because I love that one. But all of them are amazing. But do you know what? Let's just give you one more because you're amazing and you're legends. So for the house of Mont Blanc, now again this has been discontinued, but you can still pick this up. It's presence and Cardamom, ginger, sage, and teak wood are some of this, but it's a really, really invigorating fragrance. Doesn't perform brilliantly, gets for four to five hours, but for the price point, it's under 20 quid still, and you can find it at discounts as of right now. And I'll be honest with you, uh, you will not find a cheaper, better, fresh fragrance than one of this. It, it's Mont Blanc, it, they do fragrances 
phenomenally well. You know, you look at Explorer, you look at Emblem, you could go, um, I'm trying to think. Starwalker, that's the other one I'm thinking of. All of them are fantastic, but I think this is massively underrated. Does not get any love. So please, if you want to find an extra one, Mont Blanc Presence is amazing. So there you have it. Your 18 fragrances that are cheap, versatile and works every single place you could think of. So let me know in the comments what you think. And as always, if you want a top 10 list, a fragrance review or a question, please hit me up. I'm more than happy to help everyone out. As always, I'm on Instagram with Pumba Fragrances. And as always, you absolute legends, smell amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.